Hi, I'm Katrina Harold. I'm the CEO of Your Simple Bookkeeper, and welcome to the Solopreneur's Quick Guide to Online Accounting Software. How to choose an accounting software for the self-employed, the micro, and small business owner. So if, if you're like many uh, micro business owners, you're evaluating or trying to determine the right type of accounting programs to use. And you've probably done some research and you've probably discovered programs such as Indonero, Outright.com, Less Accounting, Skyledger, Wave Accounting, Cashew, Zero, and even QuickBooks Online. And you probably are just like a lot of folks and you're trying to figure out which program is best for your business. How do you choose the best accounting program for you? Should you pay? Should it be free? What features should you be looking for? How do you choose? Well, <clears throat> as you're evaluating, there are some key things that you should keep in mind when you're thinking about the programs and when you're evaluating which program is best for you. One thing is you should, the program, whichever program you use should definitely make data entry very easy. You should have a bank account import feature. Um, this is very beneficial because it will make it where you're not spending a lot of time um, thumbing through receipts and, and, and bank transactions trying to get everything in. So a bank account import is very important. Easy reporting for tax preparation. You should be able to at minimum produce a P&L statement, a balance sheet, or some type of transaction report that can be extracted for tax preparation purposes. Accountant access. This program is not going to be your end all be all for your in your accounting process. This is just the beginning. So you should be able to have your accountant or your bookkeeper access this program so that it, so that they can provide further assistance and guidance to you in interpreting and understanding your information. Flexible um, a category assignment. So a lot of these programs come with um, kind of a canned. Um, um, account listing. You should be able to create additional categories that best represent the the transactions that happen in your business. Bank reconciliation. This isn't a requirement, but if you find a program that does have a bank reconciliation feature, it's definitely worth looking into further. Again, your accountant will utilize this feature before they will even think about preparing the tax return for your business. So having a bank reconciliation is awesome. Easy access. You should be able to get to this program easily through the web, and even if they have a mobile feature, that would be great too, although not required, but at minimum, it should be a web-based program. <clears throat> now, with all of that being said, high security is going to be paramount. So at minimum, you should be looking for 256-bit encryption type bank level security. 256-bit. This is going to be important because you're importing bank information. You're putting in a lot of personal information. So you need to be sure that this program is secure. Support. At minimum, does it have a company um, help desk uh, telephone number or website? If it has a community feature, that's even better. But at minimum, you should be looking for a company-based support system. Third-party integration. Pretty self-explanatory. Can you import PayPal and FreshBooks eBay information into this program? Scalable. Can it grow with your business? Does it have a free version and then it has another paid version where as your company has more clients? You know, can you grow? Can it grow with you? Flexibility. You should not be locked into any terms or contracts. It should be a subscription base. But at minimum, if you decide you want to leave, you should be able to export your information at minimum through a CSV export. So I did a few quick comparisons. I won't get into this, but if you want to hang around with this screencast for a while, you can kind of do some comparisons on your own for some of the top four programs that I'm familiar with that um, can kind of help you determine which programs are best for you. In summary, if you're using a free program, um, such as Outright, one of the things you should uh, consider is that it's, it's really intended for folks that have no employees, you're just starting your business, it's an upgrade from Excel, you're a 1040 schedule C filer, you only have one business and you're not quite ready for QuickBooks. Some of the cons to that is that some of the features might be limited and it might be a little bit difficult to scale. <clears throat> if you're ready to purchase a program, um, this is more intended for, you know, if you require more accounting tracking, if you need a software that can scale as your business grows, you need to share with an accountant, you need an alternative to QuickBooks, and you prefer a web-based program. All of these are web-based, um, but for the fee-based program, it's going to be a little bit more robust. You can probably do some expensing, you can probably track payments and that sort of thing. The con to it that is, the, that is that it can be a little bit costly if you're a new business, and you may pay for features you may not need. So that concludes our webcast for today. Again, I'm Katrina, CEO of Your Simple Bookkeeper. You can call us, tweet us, YouTube us, Facebook us, and we're here for you.